My name is Sean Saito, and I'm in the class of 2017. I grew up in uh, Ikebukuro, in Tokyo. Uh, I was born there. Frankly, I don't remember too much about my childhood in Japan because I was only there until four. But my earliest memory I have is uh, when I was in the Shinjuku Gyoen. Uh, it was autumn, uh, there was a bed of ginkgo leaves, and I was there chasing a, uh, chasing a cricket with a tennis racket. I lived there for four years uh, before moving to Los Angeles. Part of preschool, uh, kindergarten, and elementary school there. Never really studied in elementary school. Like, my fondest memories were playing in playgrounds. So, now, fast forwarding to, to high school, my ancient Japanese literature course, he decides to show us Ghibli films and teach us about Ghibli films. And obviously we're like, what the hell? <laughs> I mean, I know we don't have to study for this big exam, but like, like I, this is not what you would expect. So we spent three semesters looking at three different films, Totoro, uh, Ponyo, and Spirited Away. The way it goes is we just spend a whole semester watching the film once. Every like five or ten seconds, he would pause the film and be like, this is a symbol for that, this is a symbol for that, this is actually an allusion to this poem. Yeah, and it was quite mind-blowing because, you know, all of us, we've all watched Totoro, we've all watched these films, but this is the first time that it was revealed in such a way. Uh, when I was in America, I was seen as the Japanese guy. And then when I was in Japan, when I came back to Japan for high school, everyone was like, yeah, Sean, you're the foreigner. <laughs> Your English is too good to be Japanese. I had a slight existential crisis, I guess. Upon coming here, um, I realized that I'm probably more Japanese than American in the end. Yeah, because um, it's just my, not only, only am I born there, I feel I resonate more with Japanese culture than with American culture. After graduating high school, I looked back and I felt that, yeah, Model UN debate really not the things I wanted to do, continue to do in, in, in college. I started programming when I came to college and um, prior to that I had, yeah, I, I knew nothing about computers really. It's really hard to explain why coding was right for me. The, the internet at my house was down and you know, like you, use it, you do the usual things, you like unplug cables and you turn things on and off and you like try to move the, the modem or the router everywhere and like nothing was working. And then I was like reading online, like how do I fix my damn internet? And I just said, oh, open up command line, type this command. And I did it and it worked. I was like, holy shit, what just happened? <laughs> and I think that was the very first time I, I interacted with like programming. I used to do music. I did the clarinet uh, until high school. I really like the clarinet. Um, just the thing about the clarinet is that it's like, it sounds really nice individually, but once you put in an orchestra, then you don't you cease to hear it unless you, it has a solo part. And there's like this little like subtle uh, it, like you you have this subtle lamentation for for the clarinet once it becomes uh, drowned out. By, by, by the violins. My musical tastes quite uh, singular these days. I listened to everything back then, from jazz to class, classics and, uh, and more recent pop music, rap, even metal. But now I only <laughs> listen to <laughs> 90s Japanese pop. I have no idea, but it's so good. 